issue of, viol of violence in just a moment. But first, let's take this call now that we've got. Uh, Mike is calling us. Uh, he's on the line from Cape Town. Mike, you're live on ENCA. Please go ahead. Hi, good evening, and thank you. Good evening, Madam Speaker. Uh, my, my question, uh, you've presided over quite a few debates in the House, and as you say, impartiality is very, very important. But you managed, uh, well, you, you presided over debates, particularly on the mining houses, where you made, I think it's 26 million rand in one exchange uh, in Goldfield shares uh, some years back. And since then, you, as I say, you've presided over these debates on mining houses. Doesn't that affect your impartiality when you have profited from share transactions in gold mines, yet you've had to obviously preside over debates where they have been very contentious? Thank you. All right. Um, I think I, I have an idea what he's talking about. You, you heard his question? He's, I, I, the, I didn't correct, hear the question. I think the, the, the correct number that we have, according to uh, a Mail and Guardian article, is 25 million rand. Uh, from Goldfields. He's talking about your, this issue of impartiality again. He, he says what about the 25 million rents? If you've, if you've made money off contracts with Goldfields, how is it that you can preside over issues related to the mining industry? Mike, thank you very much for your question. And, I, and I'm always glad when South Africans uh, uh, raise questions uh, pointedly. Mike, I've never had a single cent from uh, Goldfields I know what you are talking about because I, I've also read those articles that you, you are referring to. But in any case, Mike, every citizen of this country has a right to be invited and to participate in any business uh, activity as long as it's all within the limits of the law. That, that really is where I'd like to end. Uh, that answer. So you're disputing that there was this 25 million rand share? I'm not disputing. I'm just saying I don't have a cent from that. I just read these figures in the Mail and Guardian. But even if I had received the actual money, I, there is nothing illegal I have been involved in. And so as a citizen of the country, everybody has a right within the limits of the law as long as you don't do anything illegal and as long as you don't run the company i've never run uh, any company i don't know what you know informs the running of that company but i don't sit and take decisions about gold fields or any company all right, let's move on for just a moment, Madam Speaker, to this issue of, of bloodshed that we talked about just before mm. Mike's call came in. Mm. And, and you were talking about the transition from one uh, set of 